to our first guest today, Theodora Vautza, who is the director of Antigone, a production coming Hello. up very soon. Hello, Hi, welcome to welcome. the show. <laughs> nice to be here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the background of the show and the details? Yeah. When, when is the performance and, and how did you sure. get Sure. So the reason I'm here is to talk about our latest production of the International Theatre in English, which is the classical play of Sophocles at Antigone. It's the first play that we have in uh, theatre history that has a strong female character as a protagonist, as the leading lady. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, we had two performances in March, and because it went really well, and we want to thank everybody who supported us, we're coming back <laughs> in November at the Company Theater in the center of Amsterdam, November 4th and November 25th. That's right around the corner. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, you want to see the trailer? Should we, should we go ahead and play the trailer right now? Let's, let's do that, just yeah. so viewers can see what we talk about further. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I struggle, I fight, I revive, I battle, I sustain, I pull through, I hold on, I survive. I'm repressed, I'm oppressed, I'm attacked, I'm abused, I'm battered, I'm pained, I'm uneducated. I'm inflicted, mutilated, misused, mistreated. I'm molested, I'm sold, I'm tortured. I'm burned, bruised, disfigured. I'm slaughtered, I'm murdered, I'm raped. I'm left behind. So, Theodora, um, that seems like quite a dark tale to tell. Um, why did you choose it, first of all? And secondly, how long did it take to put the whole production together from, you know, starting off all the way to get it show ready? Okay. So, uh, I came to the Netherlands a couple of years ago, and uh, I created the International Theatre in English, uh, I have two wonderful ladies with me, Cynthia Taylor, who also helps me with the, with the writing, and Melania Palita, who's a videographer and choreographer. And together we are the base of a bigger group, about uh, 30 to 35 people. The first year, two years ago, we did Oedipus, mm -hmm. and uh, Antigone is the daughter. So we continued the story with, uh, in the same trilogy. Uh, Sophocles trilogy. The reason why, uh, an extra reason why I chose to do Antigone is because it, it deals with the uh, matters that uh, revolve around women. It talks about what can happen to a society if women decide that they are enough and that they are strong enough to stand up for their values. Then they have the power to make great changes like Antigone does. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, it sounds intense. <laughs> well, and you just mentioned a cast of 30 international yeah, people. Yeah, we are, well, the cast is uh, 30 Dutch and international artists. Uh, Antigone is played by Carolyn Beck, who is a wonderful Dutch actress. She also had a, 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 a quite a big career in India and studied in, uh, in London. Creon, the other protagonist, is uh, Herben to Town, right? I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing the Dutch name correctly. <laughs> He's, um, he works mostly in Germany. He does television there. He has a TV series. And uh, he was very, he really liked the, the show. And uh, he gave us his time. And he's between Amsterdam for Antigone and Germany for his uh, okay. shootings. And uh, then we have Matthew Carney, who is also one of your collaborators. We have um, uh, Amélie Anzon, who's playing Ismini, Antigone's sister. Uh, Vasiliki Kutruli is a Greek act actress, and she's playing the primordial Antigone. So what we have done is we've done an adaptation, Cynthia Taylor and myself, and we have... Uh, the play takes place in today, in the now, and we have the original Antigone following the Antigone of today, wanting to underline the fact that the same story keeps repeating and repeating and repeating itself until we decide that it's time to make a change. It's time to stop what's happening. In the research that we did for the theater, for the play, we realized that the numbers 
tell a very different story from what we would like to think reality is. Like we were talking about before, I told you guys that in the research we found numbers like uh, 63% of uh, Ivy League uh, university graduates are women, yet only 3 or 4% of women are part of Fortune 500 boards. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're seeing a very big difference. There are 160 million women who are not going to get educated this year. Uh, until last year, the, the first reason, the, the first cause of death in uh, girls under 16 was uh, child labor. labor. Uh, am I saying it correctly? You Childbirth. Know? Childbirth. Childbirth. Childbirth, thank you. Yeah. So what, what, with these um, things in mind, what do you want the audience to take away when, when they come to see your production? Are yes, that's a very good question. Thank you. So what I, I would like, and I think we have succeeded, uh, judging from the audience who came in March, is that they realize that there's something going on that they're not really aware of and uh, to get the feeling that they do have the power to make a change it uh, it doesn't uh, if each of each of us individually decides that I'm going to make a change whether it's a small one or a bigger one then that has a ripple effect and uh, a bigger change comes you, you do uh, I don't think that you should wait you know for the big change Small little things in your everyday life will accumulate to make a big difference in the world. Um, I was doing some research myself. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I was reading about the themes in the play, at least in the original play. Mm -hmm. um, themes would be civil disobedience, natural law and contemporary legal institutions, fidelity, portrayal of the gods and love for family. Yes. Um, these or this play was originally written in 411 BC. Yes, and, it was uh, a long time ago. These these themes seem to still be reoccurring in the world we live in today. Yes. Do you think humans have learned anything in the last 2,427 years? I, I would want to think <laughs> so. Yes. Well, uh, to help your viewers, the if you're not familiar, the story of Antigone is uh, Antigone's the daughter of King Oedipus the Oedipus complex. I think we're all familiar with that. So he married his mother and had children with her. So Antigone is his sister and his daughter. The, uh, Oedipus leaves uh, the country and the two sons are left to govern the city, exchanging one year after the other. And one brother decides that, no, the city belongs only to me and attacks uh, his brother and uh, his uh, home city. And they both die. And then Creon, uh, their uncle, takes over the power, becomes the dictator, and uh, forbids anyone to bury the attacker, which is exactly what happened with uh, Turkey and Erdogan. He refused to bury the, the people who were allegedly uh, responsible for the coup d'etat. Yep. So you see things happening again, being uh, reproduced again. So Antigone, because... Uh, at that time, be, ha, leaving a, a body unburied was a great sin, sin towards the gods, yeah. decides that, no, I'm going to stand up for what I believe in, I'm going to stand up for my family, and I'm going to do what I think is right. Even though everybody tells her, you're going to die. And eventually, she does die. But oh, the, don't, don't tell, don't tell it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. That's yeah. not, that, no, that, actually, that's not the... Um, uh, uh, many things happen after. I mean, they're, they're, her death, initiates um, certain events, and this is what uh, the play is all about, okay. to see how uh, a, a, an individual, one person, can stand up and then create a change that affects everyone in the society. Okay. And to go back Thanks. to your question, there are certain things that are being repeated, but there are also lessons that we have learned. So yeah. I definitely think that Humanity has gone a long way, but uh, we're still fighting between fear and love. We're still fighting between what we, what we would like to do, what we would like to have, and what our confining convictions are dictating to us. Okay. And on that note, I think that's a perfect Ending. way to be <laughs> our viewers. Yeah. Yeah. So um, 
if you want to find out more information and how you can get tickets to your okay, book production. so it's a production in English, and we're playing at Company Theater November fourth and November twenty fifth. And uh, your viewers can check your uh, Facebook site. Uh, I know you're going to put the information there, and they can also visit internationaltheaterinenglish.com or hashtag dare to be a girl and they'll find all the information okay excellent thank you so much thank, thank you, you for, for coming along <laughs>